Well, it was interesting the first time we met because we were doing a chemistry read, so we're both very nervous. And I remember it was like early on a Saturday, right? It was like 8 a.m. on a Saturday mm. or something, and there's these, we're in an empty room, there's cameras and the director, and we're, we're doing these scenes. And I remember I was really nervous. And you were exhausted I, too, weren't you? You had just flown in. From I was. Somewhere. Well, I flew in, but weren't you still like a yeah? Out of press. I just yeah. So that's why we could only do it Saturday early morning. So it's weird. The first time we met, I I know I was tired and and very very nervous. Mm. Um, you know, auditioning s- sucks. It does suck. <laughs> but then your guard is down, so you're probably yeah. more yourself than you probably normally you know would have been. Well, I think we were comfortable with yeah. one another, but also uh, we were comfortable with the director because he's like he's a super sweet guy. Yeah, and I think it sort of helped that we were both in this situation together. Yeah. So auditioning is very nerve-wracking, yeah. but we sort of had solidarity because we both knew, like, I think I know how you're feeling. You know how I'm feeling. Yeah. Let's let's work through this together. Let's make some magic happen. Um, now, there's plenty of, I wouldn't so much call it like a buddy, you know, cop movie, but it does have some of those elements. Oh, sure. uh, were there any favorites that you guys had uh, kind of going into this as far as, like, what you wanted to, to That genre? Yeah. yeah, that genre. Um, well, the movie that the writer and the director talked a lot about was Midnight Run, okay. which is obviously an amazing classic, and yeah. 48 Hours, 48 hours yeah. Lethal Weapon. Lethal Weapon, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, you know, those movies that were really around in the 80s and had kind of gone away. Yeah, and especially, like, Lethal Weapon was kind of like the gold standard of action comedies. Oh, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and if you watch that movie, you forget how much darker and more violent it is. Yeah. Like, movies in the 80s were, like, kind of tougher and rougher. Yeah, and tougher, yeah. Yeah, now they've gotten sa- sanded down a little bit. Yeah. I mean, right in the beginning of Lethal Weapon, he has a gun in his mouth, and he mm-hmm. wants he's going to, like, mm-hmm. kill himself. He mm-hmm. has a bullet that yeah. he saved for himself. Yeah. That's pretty dark. You, <laughs> I don't know if you'd see that in a comedy today, you know, like a mainstream yeah. comedy with yeah. movie stars yeah. in it. Like... Um, so, so those were sort of the gold standards for us. I definitely watched those movies mm. to be like, how do you make a movie where two characters don't like each other, but it's fun to watch? Mm. And you sort of understand that there is some sort of affection between them that they're unable to express. But, you know, so that, that, that's 80s. We're going into, into 2019. You know, this could easily happen to, to anybody. You know, as, as an Uber driver, many people do it as part-time work or as their full-time job. Did you guys go undercover in different Ubers or you know what was kind of your experience as far as as far as that theme goes no I never went undercover <laughs> no I was like I'll use my imagination 